what's going on my humble people my friends my friends my company my subscribers and all the rest of you people <laughs> okay listen listen guys season two of the sopranos we are back with some more sopranos with season three but i want to talk about season two and all the support that you guys have shown throughout this the entire thing so far season one and season two of all you guys that have subscribed to the channel the backup channel I even you have signed up for early access on the original channel which at this point i don't even really like talking about it because youtube is over here congratulating me for getting five views on a video like it, it's 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 ridiculous that's how bad it has become over there so in any case guys just know okay just know that if you want to watch the entire third season as you are watching this video today if you want to watch the entire third season it's already out on early access by the time you're watching this video so i just wanted to put that out there shameless plug i don't care anymore i'm just telling you guys that if you want to support the channel if you want to show some love that is a great way to show some love no mind you now yeah you know i'm saying there's nothing wrong to just hit the like button and wait until these episodes drop um every day by now you guys that are already here should know that these episodes drop monday through friday once the season opens i usually take a week off um from the series i usually take a week off and then i record the next season um that weekend that's what we do over here because i know a lot of people was asking when season two was over a lot of people were asking when is season three coming out when is season three coming out for every series that i do on my channel guys once series are finished i usually take a break um whether it's a season ender or a series ender i usually take a break before i jump into something else or if it's going if it's more seasons to the show then i will take a week break and then i will record it the next week start recording again the next week after every season i try to schedule it that way so that i can have stuff ready for um so I can have stuff ready for early access so that the people who are on early access can enjoy an entire season, some binge worthy content. OK, so just know that. All right. So I don't want to talk too much about what happened in season two. If you want to see my review of season two, go watch the last video. Um, but we know that um, pussy is dead. That much we know. Right. Pussy is dead um he was killed by tony i know this is probably going to affect tony in a diff in in a completely like weird way <laughs> you know what i'm saying because that was his best friend so he, he we're probably going to see him go through some stuff because of that i don't know what's going to happen in season three um you know what i'm saying i can have speculations about it but for the most part i don't really want to have any speculations of it you guys already know my feelings about the soprano so far season two was fire season one and two is probably two of the best seasons that i've seen i wouldn't say um it's definitely top 10 for me out of all tv shows that i've watched it's definitely top 10 first two seasons of any shows that i've that i've ever watched you get what i'm saying but the whole series is not done yet for me to say oh this is a top five show for me it's not there yet you know what i'm saying um at this moment i don't think the writing in in this is better than say a black sales which um comes very highly recommended there's so many other shows where i could say there's definitely more than five shows that i can say that is better than the sopranos at this point we're not talking about writing by itself right so i don't want to dig too deep into that because i don't want to prejudge um because a lot of people said season three the show gets better and better and that's really good that's a good thing i can definitely say it's a great thing to say about a show the show get it season two was better than season one so i'm hoping that season three is better than season two which some people has already told me season three get ready 
So, shameless plug here, before we jump into the episode, I want you guys to go check out Nirvana and Fire. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is like, I would not send you guys to watch certain shows if it's not good, okay? So, that is your assignment. When you finish watching this, go check out Nirvana and Fire in the channel. It's completely free, it's not on early access, so you can just check it out, okay? And enjoy something a little different um, that is going on on the channel right now. I'm promoting it because, of course, it's not getting a ton of views because it's a Chinese drama and blah, 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 blah. I'm enjoying it, so I wanted to suggest something to you guys as well. You guys get to bombard me with suggestions all the, all the time. There's nothing wrong with me trying to suggest something to my audience, right? So, um, thank you guys for tuning in to and and showing all the love and all the comments that you guys have been sharing on the videos i really do appreciate it um interaction is very important for the videos to get out there to more people know that i'm doing the sopranos reaction so i really thank you guys for doing that go check out nirvana and fire we're gonna jump into season three episode one you already know how it is one episode per day unless you want to watch the entire season you can check that out on early access but for now we're doing one episode so if needs be i will do two but for the most part it's just one let's jump into the episode man season three episode one the sopranos is back clap it up <laughs> clap it up let's go we in here That's the closest CW16 ever got Tony to discussing the Bevilacqua murder on tape? I think at this point, it's time to consider 16 Bump and Sorrow compost. Bump and Sierra was crucial to the Webistic stock fraud case. So, Rico-wise. The airline tickets. Mail and wire fraud. Especially if the mother testifies in exchange for immunity. Come on, whose own mother's gonna testify against him? I say focus on his garbage business. Extortion, interstate trucking. It's also the most likely to yield a prosecutable murder. Richie Aprile, exactly. No doubt about it, the cartel had him whacked. Okay, garbage, but Tony shows real due diligence when it comes to electronic debugging. What about the home? Papa Tero told me him and Tony talked in the basement there on more than one occasion. His own basement? Really? Where's the due diligence there? Tony avoids talking business in the house if he can. But if he has to, he'll take somebody out by the pool. Except there he fears parabolics. The basement has these noisy AC ducts. He turns on the air, and he feels it's safe. Surreptitiously enter said premises and leave without notice. This is a sneak and peek warrant. Correct, Your Honor. Yeah, well, I said you could enter the basement to drop a wire. I mean, how many times do we have to impact this family's right to privacy? First, when the home is empty, we enter to take sound levels to determine where to best place the wire. Once that's decided, the listening device will be fabricated, and we will re-enter to install it. We'll see that they limit both entrances to the basement only. It's not a better homes and garden store. Happy hunting. In order for the SCT team to drop a wire in that house, there's got to be nobody at home for at least two hours. Actually, the maid is gone for a little while on Tuesday afternoons. Gone why? English language classes. She's getting a U.S. citizenship. She's gone from the house from 1 till about 2.45. In our class, when she and her husband usually have a picnic lunch. He's applying for citizenship, too. What's his name again? Basiu Postilian. I'll run that by anti-terrorism, just for laughs. Carmela's gone the same hours on Tuesday, tennis lessons. As long as we have somebody on her during tennis, and on the maid, and Tony, and everybody that's got a key to the house. The daughter's at Columbia, lives in the dorms. Why risk it? She's 45 minutes away via the GW. Put somebody on her. Any one of them breaks for home. We need to warn the SCT team to get the hell out of here. Oh, God. You're not hungry? 
Have some Bergeau. No, thanks. I got no appetite. Today would have been our birthday. Our birthday? Oh, yeah. Spoons. Hey, happy birthday. How old are you? 51. Who was born first, you or Spoons? <clears throat> Philip was my kid brother. By 11 minutes. Hey, it was a fucking tragedy. What are you gonna do? Huh? It's the life we chose at my right time. Well, my brother was never a heavy guy with anybody. I mean, he was a sweet, gentle man. Oh, Marge, you got me. Fuck his spoons. You sweet brother. Billy. Friends, like us, called him spoons. Somebody whacked the kid. A couple months before you came over. You big motherfucker. Oh! Identical twin or the other kind? Identical. Yeah. Have something I didn't even recognize that he looked I'm done forgotten about. That dude was like it was on screen at the beginning of the season for like okay onions, right? literally about less than five minutes. Hey, nothing sounds crazy anymore. The older I get. <clears throat> well, it's over, right? Looking right in the eye of the nigga that killed him. That's <laughs> that identical twins a lot of times they'll die within a couple of days of each other. That would have been okay with me, believe me. I miss him so much. Hey, well, that's natural. Well, you're with us now, so why don't you uh leave the morbid shit back at Junior's crew and uh, have a happy birthday? How's it look? Hello. You want to commit suicide? Tie your shoes and have a bite of Brajol. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hard. It's a joke. Come on. I wonder what he... I wonder if he knows. Hello. God, don't transfer me now. Sheesh. Almighty. You know, somebody commented that... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody commented during season two um saying, Oh, this is MILF country right here. You know what I'm saying? This is MILF country. And I have to agree. I have to agree. The MILFs in this show, bruh, they go places. <laughs> they 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 go places, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just like oof. My God, man, Carmella. You know what I'm saying? Oof. Carmella. The I'm doctor. Fucking valley. Carmella. Oh, we getting hey, somebody man. else now? Hey. This is my friend I was telling you about, Adriana Laserva. Ed Rasuccia. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm delighted to teach any pal of Carm's. She's my most disciplined student. Perfect muscle tone doesn't hurt either. <laughs> Unfortunately, listen, I, uh, I have to apologize, Carm. I thought I called everybody, but I'm not going to be teaching here anymore. Everything's all right, I hope. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's Kitty got this dot-com job in San Diego, so we're moving. I didn't even know you were married. Yeah. But you're in luck. Birgit here is taking over for me. How wonderful. Bird. Like, like, once. That's why you're here. Oh, Carm, please start. Really help if I, get I just came to look at some man candy. These wi these women, bro. <laughs> Are you getting oh, a, way, <laughs> a good look there, buddy? So, you ever wanted a special piece? I don't have antiques. My house is traditional. Uh, I'm cutting into your lessons. Sorry, Carmela. Bye. Nice meeting you. Take care. What the hell is this nigga looking for? Okay, cut it. What are they Russian? <laughs> I don't even know. Are they Polish? I think. That's just for Anthony Jr. <laughs> Looks like they're expecting World War Three. More likely the Colombo Wars. Hey, you got the Black and Decker? I got one.
120 gallon water heater. My house was shivering after a shower and a half. Whoa, wait a minute. Go back. Look at the brown water. Right there, freeze it. What? I, you don't see it? Creep forward, give us the magnification. That baby's gonna blow. <laughs> My dad was a plumber. Tony got about six months left to go on that lining. Oh, it's a shame that we can't warn him. Maybe during the discovery phase of his RICO trial, we can inform his lawyer that Tony needs a plumber. Well, except that's at least a year from now. By that time, boom. <laughs> OK, now you see that lamp there? OK, so they bugged the lamp. microphone? He took sound readings. That's a new one. Assumption is the wise guys stand and talk where the air conditioning is loudest. And that's where we're gonna place it. Puppy going in. Tomorrow. How's the new stock doing? Up three at the close of the Dow yesterday. Another two so far today. Beautiful. Listen, Tone, uh, I think we may have a problem. Log off. That cookie shit makes me nervous. I think we may have a problem about our friend, the twin. Yeah, so? My goomba Joey flies, he hangs out at the nest in Bloomfield. Diplomatica's place. Yeah. So our friend is a fixture down there, and Joey says lately he's been into the booze very heavy. He's all fucked up. A couple of times I had to pick him up off the floor. So Chip went to him. Pat, what the fuck? Can I do anything? Etc. Patsy launches into the single malt diatribe about how people can smile in your face and still be a villain, and that he knows how his brother died, and who's responsible, and all that. He mentioned me by name? No, me neither. You hearing this? How the fuck will Patsy know we clipped spoons? What, that fucking twin telepathy? Somebody's putting ideas in this kid's head. Don't let us interfere with your golf game. Maybe a cop trying to flip him. Getting him uh, worked up with theory. Talking weird the other day. What should we do? Well, we brought him over from Junior's crew to keep an eye on him. So that's what we'll keep doing. I mean, make no mistake. Part of this guy loves you. But it's gotta be hard coming into work every day, looking right into the eyes of the guy you know ordered your brother whacked, and even having to smile. We always have the option. Wonder if Meadow is home. What happened? Abort. Repeat. Abort. SC team, get the hell out of there now. Abort, Andy. It's not a go. Repeat. We are not a go. Ha <laughs> ha 
thank God. The fucking water heater blew. Just blew. The guarantee's gotta be expired by now. Do we have any idea what went down? No. The very thing you guys were talking about. Plumber's truck went up there. Look, we don't have any idea what happened, so let's not speculate. You guys knew about it. You could have probably sent somebody anonymous to warn them about it. Maybe we got a long-term problem. Yeah, you can't bug shit now because the only thing y'all got to warn for is the basement. And they ain't getting that fixed for a long time. They're not going to be having no more meetings down there, that's for sure, for a while. Morning. Uh, we'd like to get onto your property so we can trim some growth in the back that's posing a safety hazard with all the power lines running through there. Okay. Uh, go around the side. While we're at it, uh, our records show that our repair department has some crews out here yesterday. Were you affected by any of the uh, shortfalls? Yesterday? No. Oh, the people next door have had some trucks go up there, I think. But no, we've been fine. Uh, how, how about them? Do you know if everything's OK over there? As far as I know. Well, we'll go talk to them. Probably you should. Pardon? <laughs> Were you just going to tell them they're in the mob? Mind your own business. For this neighborhood, they're a little different, that's all. Well, we'll get busy in the back. You don't have no evidence of them being in the mob anyways. But look, fresh this morning, Roberts. How about things over on Bloomfield Avenue? The Cuban was at the casino last night. And by the way, Big John's okay with a 60-40 split because we own the building. What the hell? What? Fuck, is that Pat Parisi? Who? Yo! What should we do? Yo, this man's gonna take a shot at Tony, bruh. Johnny says, look, let's go downstairs. He's gonna piss in his pool. Oh my god. I don't understand this at all. What's up, Ike? What happened at the Soprano house was the water heater blew. A unit saw Ruggiero come back with a flatbed and haul the old man out. Ruggiero? Plumber? Why? My sister used to live up near there. She was friends with Mrs. Ruggiero. Yeah, it's Mr. Ruggiero's neighborhood. Anyway, we have to get this thing in there before Warner goes stale. Boy. We've had every one of Tony's phones bugged for four years. The guy says less than half a marks. Next Tuesday. The wire drops are definitely gone. Mr. Bingle has left the building. They fucking made me. Wire drop is still a go. Confirming access to switching box. I'm going in. Unit 2, Mrs. Bing in motion. Just the maid and it's all yours, team. Copy that. Sign wires cut. <laughs> Clean up from the flood. I enjoyed it just as much as the next guy. Should we move it back? What? 
two, three feet, who's gonna notice it? Yeah. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Somebody might. <laughs> you gotta figure, though. Uh, normal course of events, Tony will assume Carmella moved it back, right? Or, or the maid. If anybody even notices. Make an executive decision. Imminent. Easy, 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 easy. You got a problem? What, though? I said, you got a problem. With what, though? I don't know. I heard maybe you got a fucking problem. Like, you don't like being here. I like being here. You sure? Yeah. Y you sure? Yeah. Don't, don't say you're, you're sure if you're not sure. Who was telling me you, you bought your daughter a nice house, you know, after you came over with her? Yeah, that's nice. Wonderful. And your brother, Bon Animal. You've recovered from that shit there. You put your grief behind you. I man just pissed in your pool. I want to know what why is it? Let me hear you say. I put the grief behind me. Talk. I'm gonna go get a coffee and a bun. You got a younger son too, right? You ought to bring him up to the house. You can hang out with AJ. We can get something to eat. They can go in the pool. That you pissed in? <laughs> I have to leave this junk on the table. I don't know where to put it. Control, you hearing me? Suppose that lamp doesn't work anymore and then all of a sudden it starts working. Why is in, Bobby? I'm good to go. Control, we're in motion. We have left the sausage factory. Touchdown. Dig Soprano, come on! Dig it! You want to join the football team? You think it's all for show and not for go? Dig in, you tough ass! You're out of there, George. I hope to God that agents don't high five each other like that. <laughs> Yo, could you be more corny? Cringe alert. Jeez. <laughs> Yellow and blue. Flooded the whole goddamn place. I can smell the mildew, you know. Well, Liliana says you're an engineer. I figured maybe you could rig some system, you know, if it happens again, some PVC shit or something. So if it happens again, you get the overflow and you put it over to the corner over there to a sock. Chip out the concrete. 4 0. Yeah. They're not discussing OC. Thing. Whatever. Well, how much? Time, uh, materials. I don't know how to concoct estimates. Hmm. Well, fair enough. Let me get measured. Get started. All right. Hi, Stasio. Oh. You gonna use this? You wanna take it? No, you go ahead. Come on, go ahead, I'll use the bike. No, I, I have to sort through Meadow's laundry anyway. She's gonna be here at noon to get it. Liliana's making her a leg of lamb to take back. Beck and Wooj 
I had grant from the state to do an autonomous research. Look, you got your workout clothes on. Why don't you use them? What makes you think mind. that... Jesus already. No, you go ahead. Stas said he could smell the mildew down here. Right, Stas? We gotta open these windows up. Let the place dry out. some Russian girl coming in to take care of my mother. Oh, yeah? Where'd you find her? Agency. I've had something stuck in my teeth for two days now. Jesus. Well, you gotta use the other floor. Oh. All right. Season three opener. Great episode of the FBI trying to bug Tony's house. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. No problems at all with the episode. Um, when it comes on to The Sopranos, man, it is a very chill well, not really very chill. I shouldn't say chill. Chill is the wrong word. <laughs> it's more of like, um, you don't know. They lead you in to experience the family. I don't know how else to explain it. It's more of like, you know, you're watching a great show without them telling you you're watching a great show. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of weird. I don't know how to describe the feeling that I have when I watch this show. Like, I don't. I I know it's a great show, but you you even though I get I I guess it's the immersion. I guess it's the immersion that I'm enamored with. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the immersion of it. Like, you feel like not just a fly on the wall, and not many shows can achieve this where you feel like you're a part of what you're watching like you are a family member just watching the empire crumble per se you know what i'm saying like all these things that are coming against your family you're like there but you're you're not really there. it's like you're watching all of this happen and you can't do anything about it but you're not necessarily a fly on the wall because the immersion goes past you, you just being a fly on the wall experiencing this you're more of like uh i don't want to say a paraplegic i, I don't want to say that um i don't know how to describe it it's it's just this unique feeling that i get from watching this show like you know when you're watching something but you're just not expecting too much because it's just a regular day you know what i mean but you know it's still good it's it, that's the kind of feeling that i have i feel like i can just sit back and just relax and watch the sopranos and and just understand that this is their life you know what i'm saying uh, all right so recently you know since i've started watching the show of course as soon as you start you know doing any kind of content on youtube those things are start going to start popping up into your um into into your um sub box well, not 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 your sub box but like your feed your your regular youtube feed right you know stuff about the mob you know history of the mob and all this other stuff and i came again i came across this one guy right and i've been watching his videos um you know he used to be in the mob he's a former mob boss and um I think it's, I, if I remember correctly, because I don't want to mispronounce his name, I think his name is Michael Francis. Um, first time I ever heard about this dude, like didn't know he existed, didn't know that. I know about Gotti. I know about certain people that was in the mob because their cases were, were famous and stuff like that. Never heard of Michael Francis, never heard of him, but he's on YouTube, born again Christian, um, you know, talk about the stuff that, you know, 
you know, the, the, the things about the mob, you know what I'm saying? Of course, he's not going to incriminate himself if he did anything in the past. He spent eight years in prison, never ratted on anybody or, um, you know, and he talked about, you know, all of the, the famous rats and stuff like that. Um, you know, talked about his first day in the hole, stuff like that. Like I watch, um, he does stuff like mob movie Mondays and stuff like that, where he reviews like mob movies. He has reviewed the Sopranos movie and not the, he reviewed the, the, the Sopranos movie that just came out as well, but he reviewed the series, right? And it's just sometimes when you hear these guys talk, you know what I'm saying? And as much as you want to say that these guys are like, they had a terrible past or they were terrible people. When you hear him talk about this, the stuff that he did, you know what I'm saying? Cause he went to jail for, I think it was like racketeering. He took a deal and did his time. And that's one of the things where I'm he's lucky to be 70 years old. And he, he thanks God so much that he actually was able to get out of the life and still be alive. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so surreal. You know what I'm saying? It's just such a surreal feeling just listening to this guy talk because you're like, you know, sometimes you watch certain stuff and you're like, you know that you know, a lot of this stuff is, you know, vaguely portrayed through real life, through stuff that happened in real life, right? He was actually, was supposed to be a consultant on The Sopranos, and I don't remember, I don't remember what he said happened, but he was supposed to be a consultant for, for the actual Soprano show. He was approached by the dude that was, um, that created the show, the creator of the show, um, you guys probably know who I'm talking about because you guys, you know, probably have come across his videos, but I've been like binge watching his stuff over the past, like, I think a uh, um, week or so and just hearing his perspective for certain things because he doesn't hold back on anything that, you know, what I mean, like anything that he um, did or you know what he was involved with and stuff like that. You know, he talked about the mafia like. You know what I mean? It, it's it, it, it's the shit. You know what I mean? Um, but he regrets pretty much every moment he spent there. He was basically, I don't want to say indoctrinated. You know what I'm saying? Because his dad was in the, was in the mob. So one of the most interesting things that he said that really stuck with me was, you know, um, his father asked him. One his father asked him one time is it, before he joined the mob, right? His father asked him, if you ever had to kill someone, could you do it? And his answer was, if the circumstances presented it and I had to do it, yes, I could. Right. And that stuck with me in such a way because he talks about the mob and he talks about them and he, he's like you think that you know you may think that the mob was all about murder and they you know they loved it and all of this other stuff and it's, they never enjoyed killing of course he said that you had your you know your dudes that really did enjoy killing people but it wasn't like the majority you know what i'm saying um it's not like today where you have gangs it's like the initiation is murder you know what i'm saying like it's not like that and sometimes we have this pre um, perception right of people that we don't know because it's like oh you're a criminal you're a criminal but you don't know the ins and outs of what's really going on within within a, a, a certain group you you don't know now we we all know the cartels are not like this you know what i'm saying we all know that the the, the cartels like you know what I'm saying? From all the stuff that I've watched about, you know, big bosses in the, in the, in the cartel and stuff, i.e., you know, Pablo Escobar and stuff like that, they operate so much off of greed. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's all about, you know what I'm saying? Um, not necessarily respect, but it's more of like they operate out of fear a lot of time. Like they use fear to control and, 
just having that in perspective compared to like the mob from what i'm hearing now from how they operate and stuff like that very respectable and stuff like that he talks about the show and it and is like you know sh you know movies like the godfather and stuff like that and how it came about and i knew nothing of that stuff is like yo they had to okay that movie bro the mob had to okay the movie the godfather like that's crazy they had to vote on it they had to be okay like the italian americans i didn't even know that they had like um like i don't remember i can't remember all of it now but you get what i'm trying to say maybe i'll i'll tell you i'll i'll include that more in my reviews a little bit but nothing much happened in this episode other than the fact that tony's house is no is now bugged um they had a little bit of issue there of course we have guy that's um his twin brother got killed we all know that he died in i think it was episode one of season two i didn't know that that was gonna become a factor again but maybe this guy's gonna gonna become a rat i don't know okay i don't know that's what i'm thinking that maybe the fbi is gonna approach this dude or maybe they're gonna have to take him out because you know what i'm saying he literally showed up to the house and could have took a shot at tony right you know, we don't know if he would have killed Tony or not because he's drunk. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't imagine you having a straight shot when you're when you're drunk. Um, but he just pissed in the pool and leave. And I was going to say during the episode, I was going to say that why doesn't Tony have security cameras? That's that's one of the things I was thinking, like, why don't you have security cameras on your home? But then again, I can imagine if you're a criminal, that's not something you want to be be having because you know um in some ways you're kind of collecting evidence of yourself <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you you're kind of like in some ways collecting evidence for yourself but it is what it is so that's all i have to say man it's just very interesting if you guys um want to check out michael francis he has a channel on youtube and it's just very interesting um to hear somebody that was actually in the mob talk about the mob um, you know, he talks about, you know, you know, and he encourages young people to not get involved with, you know, that kind of life. He really, he does like he regrets it so much and he made a ton of money while he was in it and he regrets it so much because it's like, it's, it's two ways out, man. It's, it's jail or, or, or body bag. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He was lucky enough to do time and not a rat on anybody because he talks about how many people became rats and, you know, the government having all these great surveillance stuff that is getting better and better over time. The government is getting better and better at finding criminals. They're not getting worse. They're getting better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And in this day and age, bruh, I don't know they can't pull me back in <laughs> i'm just kidding guys anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm on to watch episode two if you guys don't know if you're watching this all 13 episodes is already available on early access so if you want to go check that out make sure you go and check that out only two dollars a month link is down in the description listen it's your boy terabyte reacts don't forget that Leave a like on the video, man. I know this is hundreds of you guys watching these episodes. Don't forget to like the video, okay? I can't be getting 300, 400 views on these videos and I'm only getting like 20 likes. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Bring, keep bringing the, the interaction up. Comment on the videos. Leave a like. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.